My name is Luke Jackson Clark, and I'm a travel adventure photographer from here in London. And today we're in this epic warehouse and I've been challenged by Vodafone to get some content on the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. We're gonna be bringing the night to life tonight with some of the night mode features and many other features that I'm gonna run through in a minute. Let's do this. As you can see, we've set up the first scene, which is the first challenge and we're gonna be using the nightography mode. To get to the nightography mode, you open the camera and swipe to the left twice. Here you can find it by tapping the moon. Nightography mode uses AI to take multiple photos at different exposures and then fits them together, providing a photo with the least noise and popping colors. Oh, some of these photos are so cool. One of my favorite features on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the Pro Mode. This feature lets you shoot in RAW and gives you access to shutter speed, ISO and aperture, giving you more control to get the photos you want and need. Okay, so as you just saw, the next challenge is to use the nightography mode for portraits. So we're going to get some depth with the leading lines of the table and, uh, and then play with some reflections as well. Nightography mode exposes the photo and the subject's face perfectly with just a snap of the shutter, making photos of friends and family in bad lighting conditions super easy. Another feature in the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, which is the 200 megapixel mode. I can zoom in so far on this and it's still perfectly clear. Automatic focus is really focusing on, on both of Makai's faces here. As you guys just saw, one of the challenges that we got was using super steady mode on the phone. The way that we're gonna do this is I'm gonna walk quickly down the stairs with Makaya and try and show you how an action shot can look so smooth. Action. Now we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but with super steady on. Let's go. It is actually insane how steady that is. It's just mad. Okay, so as you guys just saw, one of the final photo challenges that we've been set is to use the ultra zoom mode on the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I think one of the most epic use cases of this feature is to head out about five minutes down the road and get an ultra zoom moonshot. Let's do this. Okay, so we're at a park just down the road. The sun is setting. Obviously, we've got to wait for the moon. And while we wait for the moon, I'm going to get some cool ready orange sunset shots. The ultra zoom mode gives you the option to zoom in a hundred times, letting you zoom in on the moon with awesome detail. My final challenge of the day was to edit all the content using the S Pen. In almost all of my work, I use brushes and tools to help shape light. The S Pen helped me do this with perfect precision. You can even use the S Pen as a wireless shutter and use it for gestures so you don't need to touch the phone to change its settings. And even with all that ability, it fits nice and snug into the bottom of the phone. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did shooting it. Thank you so much to Vodafone for letting me use the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. And I hope you guys get an opportunity to juice on it and have as much fun as I did. See you next time.